I'd love to do I Still Call Australia Home in this year coming because it's my 10th season with the chorus. And I just actually got stranded in five days in Tenerfield when my car broke down. So, uh, you know, I'm, I've been thinking about Peter Allen a lot lately. <laughs> my name's Kathleen McGuire. I'm the artistic director and conductor of the San Francisco Gay Men's Chorus and the conductor of the Community Women's Orchestra. Music is a great vehicle for getting at people's hearts and delivering a message in a way that word, just words alone can't. And, you know, I, I know many politicians here who are always saying, can you bring the chorus to sing? Because they know that. They know the music um, adds a level of emotion to a message that, um, that nothing else can. And it's universal. Even if you can't understand the words, you can, you can be touched by the music. Well, it's a full-time job with the San Francisco Gay Men's Chorus and um, the orchestra I squeeze in on the side. Um, there are very few jobs like this in the world and I'm very, very fortunate. And this was the first openly gay chorus and it has led to the formation of transgender chorus, to youth choruses, to choruses in Australia. My brother founded the first one in Australia as a result of hearing a recording of the San Francisco Gay Men's Chorus. So, uh, yeah, the ripple effect is, is incredible. And the time I've been here, we've actually been raising a lot of money for um, health service organisations, so really trying to give back. You know, it's big things like that, but it's also little things. You can really make an effect on one person's life by singing a song, um, or somebody in a concert buys a CD and gives it to somebody else. And yeah, the, the effect is, in, uh, is incredible. And to know that you're making a difference, it, it really helps you get up each day and keep doing it. I've been working pretty hard for the last nine years and went back home, which was fantastic. And uh, the chorus actually gave me this um, so that I'd come back. They actually wrote on the back um, the Irish blessing of all things, um, which is the chorus's signature tune. Of course, with my Irish heritage, um, it's sort of all of me. It's like my Australian heritage, my chorus heritage, and my Irish heritage all in one. So um, it means a lot to me. Being an Australian has definitely helped me in this country. Uh, they like Australians. You know, we've made it, I, I think Australians who travel tend to make a good impression. For me, it means me being an ambassador. I have an opportunity to represent my country in many ways in, in the United States and other countries, and uh, I'm very proud. People don't know what a meat pie is. Uh, you know, oh, I miss them. And sausage rolls and footy and just those really iconic things, boomerangs. I mean, they, they really don't know, and um, we have such a great heritage that I think they should, you know, go forth and share it. It's, it's not one word. I think of the bush when I think of Australia. I miss that smell so much. Home, humour. I think of humour when I think of Australia. I miss Australian humour. Before I had a career, I used to look at very successful people and think they were lucky. And I've since discovered that success comes from very hard work. I, I don't know where, where you could draw a line in the sand and say, this is the day I became successful. <laughs> Especially in the, the world I work in, you're never satisfied. It's never perfect. So you're always striving to get better and, and to achieve more each day. It's interesting you ask me that. It's like, does he think I'm successful? I do. I've never actually asked myself that question. I, you know, I, I guess I've achieved things. Um, so if that's what success is, yeah, I guess. I, thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Kathleen McGuire, and you're watching Down Under on Top. My sister loves you. Wow. Uh, nice. She's Fine. not gay. She's the black sheep in the family. She's the straight sheep. She's the straight sheep yeah. in the family. You have the kids in your family. Three. Really? I have a gay brother. He loves you.